1 Corinthians 13, verses 13 says this, Three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Marriage is a journey of faith, of hope, and of love. These are the gifts that He is giving you today and for the rest of your life together. The gift of faith that He will keep instilling in you. The gift of hope that He will continually pour into you. The gift of love that He will always surround you with. Live your dream life. Always be happy. Trust each other. Build the perfect family that you desire. You both are my friends. I love you guys both. And I'm lucky mom to know you. You are no longer a just in case. You are part of the team. I know that you've always been there for me. And I just hope you know that every time you need me, I will be there. I love you, Jay. And go. Welcome to the family. These are the gifts that you must treasure above all else for the rest of your life together. And ultimately, Raymond and Chacha, make your marriage always a journey towards God. Before you, I barely thought that I will be standing here and becoming someone special. I finally realized that deep inside me, I'm longing for someone to love, someone to hold, and someone to live with. In you, I found what a partner is, what a lover is, a friend, and a place where I can be my ugliest and be my most vulnerable boy. It's give and take with us And here is home Once a silhouette of all you are Now the vacancy inside my heart is home Cause this time I want to pick my one and only foul And it's for you Take the time you need to change I want to be the first person whom you see when you wake up every morning. I want to be the last person that kiss you goodnight every time you sleep. I want to be the person who are able to help you every time you are in it. I want to be the person that can cheer you up whenever you are feeling sad. I want to be the person who loves the largest when you are happy. And my biggest promise, I will never let myself to miss even one of these things no matter what happens. Because there, I love you. today as another blessing that God has given to us. The other one is three years ago when I was dancing barefooted 
You lend me your pair of shoes and be the one barefooted instead. But it wasn't that grand gesture that made me realize I made the wrong decision back in 2017. But it was our conversation we had on the bench across of Mr. Fox. It was when I saw your effort to find me again. I was scared of love. What if I choose the wrong person? What if I fail? But you reminded me of my true value. You showed me my word and appreciated my flaw. consistent not only with your words but also with your action thank you for putting us your top priority for loving my family and accepting them so today I found to thank you you are today and all tomorrow I promise to become your home and your rock to protect the trust we have to be by your side fully and faithfully. I promise to always look at you with the same kind of adoration that I have today, even when we are old and great, or even poor. Mr. and Mrs. Freeman, I cannot promise that I'll never hurt you because even the best intentions sometimes fall short. But this I promise you, Raymond, I give you my heart and my love because you are my hell yes in the world of me.